guys, welcome back to 2FC, aka 2 Footballs Combined, and it's week 13 of my weekly predictions. Before I forget names, congratulations to Ash L, Carl Weeks, and Adam Nye, all topped my league this week with 15 points. Not bad, I got 12, but I still finished at 6th or 7th, so it shows how, how well everyone did this week. Well done, guys. Um, it should be anyone who hasn't paid has probably been kicked out of my league now uh, sorry I have been warning you for weeks um, if you do want to get involved again obviously just re-enter and pay the money um, I know a few of us already have so let's uh, fingers crossed that a lot of you stay uh, let's get into week 13 and I'm going to start it off with a Stoke Leicester Desmond don't know why um, neither are doing amazingly at the moment but I'll go with two all. Huddersfield West Brom you know what Huddersfield are gonna Huddersfield are gonna win this game I'm gonna go two nil I'm gonna go two nil Huddersfield Newcastle, Bournemouth, Newcastle at home are a lot um, a lot better than Bournemouth away. So I'm going to go with a Newcastle 1-0 win. Southampton, Burnley. Southampton aren't looking great. Burnley are better away from home. So I'm going to say it's a 1-1 draw. Give them a point. Uh, Swansea, Brighton. It kills me to say this, but I reckon Brighton will win and it's going to be 2-1. Uh, West Ham, Liverpool. West Ham put up. Well, don't let's say they put up a fight. We put up a fight against them. They went 2-0 up. Um, I reckon they can score a couple of goals against Liverpool. But I still think that Liverpool will win. I'm going to go 3-2. 3-2. Spurs, Palace. Right. This uh, I'm saying this with my heart over my head. Um, for the sake of it. Harry Kane will not be playing. So, other than Deli Ali and possibly Son, no one will. No one can really score. Or well, maybe Ericsson actually. Yeah, I'll take that back. I'm saying this with my heart over my head. I reckon the Wembley curse will happen to Tottenham again. And we're going to win 2-1. Please let this be right. Please. We need the win. And Spurs at Wembley so far haven't been amazing. So massive fingers crossed at Palace. Pull something out of the bag. Please. Man City Arsenal. Arsenal have just come back from a, 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 a good win. I wouldn't say it's a decent win. An okay win against Swansea. A team that they should be thrashing. But they win 2-1 against Swansea. I am saying that City, unless <clears throat> they make the same mistakes they did against West Brom, I say City are thrashing Arsenal. This could be an absolute rout. And I'm going to go 4-1 City. Yep. And that is my banker as well, which I forgot to say. Banker of the week. On to the last two games. Chelsea, Man United. Jose back at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea and United both. Both looking okay, even though Chelsea did just get fucked up in Rome last night. Um, 3 0 away at Roma. But they're at home. They've got very stiff competition in Man United. Uh, I'm going to say 1-1 one, one draw. I, I can see a draw happening unless something stupid like someone gets sent off in the first 10 minutes of the game. I can see it being a draw. And that's what I'm going to stick with. And the last game, Everton versus Watford. Um, I'm going 2-1 Everton. I try not to back Everton this season because they've been fucking useless. But Watford, uh, I think, are starting to go down 
Um, they're kind of a very up and down team. I, I think it's actually probably their week to win. I'm pretty sure they lost last week. So I'm going to go against them and say 2-1 Everton. Uh, as always, guys, um, if you want to join my league, the link is in the description. Um, if, if you don't, then you don't. Fair enough. Let me know your predictions in the comments. Follow me on social media, which is all down there as well. And like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching guys and peace.